My girls, welcome back to the Lean Girl YouTube channel. If it is your first time, then I guess just welcome for the very first time. Awesome to have you here. Thank you for watching. I am about to rock your winter world with a Lean Girl soup, which you have all been asking for very politely. And all of a sudden in Joburg, winter like hit us. It just hit us like one day it was summer, the next day it was winter. And I have been craving something warm and hearty and obviously low calorie. So I have whipped up my Lean Girl creamy cauliflower soup. Guys, please do not turn off the video at this point. I know that cauliflower, it can be touch and go and some people like they totally put off, they think it's gonna be like no flavor, not tasty. I guarantee you, you are going to be obsessed and the calories are ridiculously low that I actually had to make a sandwich on the side, okay? and. If you girls are lean girls, you know that two bowls is always better than one. Like, it just makes me so happy when I'm eating lunch and I have one bowl that I have to finish and then I have still something on the side. If you know what I'm talking about, give me a hey in the comments. Okay guys, this one is super simple. Only a few ingredients that you need. You are gonna be shocked and amazed how easy it is. You can also save it. It's great to do as a little meal prep if you wanna do, you can even do this as a snack. That's how low calorie it is. You can have it in the RV with a piece of crunchy rye bread. Let's get right into the recipe. I'm gonna put the calories and macros up on screen. So scream. We're all screaming. I'll put it up on screen so that you can see exactly how many calories that you are in for. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this baby and then we are gonna do a Lean Girl taste test. By the way, if you give us some love in the comments on the Lean Girl YouTube channel, every single week I give someone access, free access, to my ultimate Lean Girl recipe hub with every single Lean Girl recipe I ever make. So if you weren't excited to make a comment before, I know you're excited now. Let me know what is your favorite winter warm dish that you want me to make and you could be getting yourself free access to the Lean Girl Kitchen Coach. How about that? How about that, girl? Okay, let's get into making this. Then we're gonna do the good old taste test. I'll see you in a bit. So I want you to start off with a medium sized pan, spray my pans with non-stick spray. I avoid using any cooking oil. I just find that it adds unnecessary calories. One tablespoon of olive oil is 110 calories. So now I am tossing into my pan some leeks. Well, it's actually one large leek that I've cut up and then one onion. Note that the recipe that I'm doing today was for Galan and I, so you can halve the recipe if you are just making this for one person. Now what we wanna do is we just want to get those onions and leeks sweating it up in the pan. So you just wanna brown them a little bit, get them to soften, and you can just move them around a little bit so they don't stick on the pan and you will know when they're done when they are brown and soft and ready to head into our soup. I'm using 600 grams of cauliflower. If you were doing it just for one person, you would use 300 grams. I'm starting off with one cup of water. Remember when it comes to soup, you can always add more water, but you can't take any water out. I am just using the woolly bags of cauliflower. I cut the end off the side and I actually just throw them in the microwave. I steam them as is. And normally I'll pop them then into my air fryer once I'm done. I am then putting in my cooked leeks and onions which you can see are beautifully browned and a little bit crispy actually which will just bring out the delicious onion flavor i am then going in with 100 grams of plain cottage cheese if you are dairy free you can absolutely leave this out i think it just adds a really nice creaminess to the dish. So I used there my favorite funky Oma spice and now I'm adding some garlic flakes. You could use chopped up cooked garlic as well, which you could throw in with your onions and leeks. I like a bit of heat too. So I added just a little bit of chili flakes too. You can go wild on whichever spices you like. Even a bit of paprika in here will be really yummy. And then you are going to give it a good blitz. I'm using here the DNA blender and what's really cool about it is that it is really nice and big. Often the Nutribullet I find when making soups, first of all, it's not ideal um, to be putting things that are very hot. So please do cool down your cauliflower if you are using a Nutribullet. 
This is the Steers seasoning. Gilan is obsessed with this. He puts this on pretty much everything. Now for the protein, you guys are going to be a little bit shocked that we are adding egg whites to this dish. Um, and this is gonna add some protein. Now don't be scared. You are not gonna taste egg whites at all. Um, I promise you, it is just going to add protein. It is not going to taste weird. It is not going to be lumpy. When you add it um, while the food is still in the blender, it actually just completely combines in. And then in a moment, we're going to add this back onto the stove once we've blended it up. You can absolutely skip this step if you're not a fan of eggs or you really don't care for much protein. But I know all of you lean girls are always looking to hit those protein goals. I'm then just giving it another little blend. So now you want to transfer everything to a pot and you just want to give it a good stir. You want it on a low heat because you don't want your eggs to scramble and you just want to whisk it for about five minutes just to ensure our eggs are fully cooked. As you girls know, no bowl of soup is going to fill me for very long. So I decided to do a little sandwich on the side just to make sure this is really filling and keeps me full for longer than five minutes. My favorite sandwich thins, which are really fab at around 120 calories for the two slices. I am then gonna add some cottage cheese on the one side. I use the plain fat-free cottage cheese from Woolworths. On the other side, I'm adding some sweet chili sauce. I actually didn't have my favorite one of all time from Diskim because Funnily enough, it sold out after our little taste test video. Um, I'm adding just a bit of butter lettuce for a bit of crunch. And then I'm also going to add some sliced smoked chicken because protein. Um, I really like these. They're nice and convenient when you just want to make a quick sandwich without having to actually cook any protein. Um, I'm just going to add a few slices of that. And Bob is your uncle. I just half this roughly um, Gilan was going to be having the other half to top it off and make it look a little bit fancy I'm adding just one spoon of plain yogurt which I kind of swirl in um, I guess that's how they do it in restaurants right Lastly, I'm gonna to top it off with some spices. This is everything but the bagel seasoning. And there you have it, my girls. Your delicious, creamy, protein cauliflower soup with a wonderful little sandwich on the side. Two dishes is always better than one. All right, it is time for the good old taste test. It's actually lunchtime right now. Gilan and I are on the verge of hangry. So good timing. I'm so excited for this cauliflower soup. It is high protein, it is super low calorie, and it is so perfect for these wonderful, cozy winter days. Um, I'm gonna show you, like you have to get this texture. It is so creamy and so delicious. Um, okay, let's do a taste test. And these sprinkles are everything, guys. You have to try that spice recipe. It was so much flavor. I know that there are a few ingredients, but it is absolutely amazing how much flavor this soup has. With a little bit of chili, a little bit of garlic, the onions coming through, a bit of the leeks, the cauliflower, the little bit of the sesame on the top for the crunch. And of course, we're gonna have it with our little sandwich as well. And if I recall, I've already worked it out roughly in my head. This whole meal will be just under 400 calories, which is pretty darn amazing, if you ask me. Really high volume, low calorie, high protein, and delicious, we are winning. Those are all the lean goal boxes that we have to tick with every single recipe. That is it, my girls. I hope that you are going to try this recipe out. I hope that you are going to love it as much as I do. I so enjoy making recipes for you guys and showing you that you do not have to go hungry. You do not need to eat bland food. You do not have to eat dry, boring salads throughout winter. You can eat lingual, creamy cauliflower soup and you can reach all of your lean body goals. So if you haven't yet subscribed, I'm gonna be bringing you so many more winter recipes, so you better hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to sign up to The Kitchen Coach if you haven't yet. Comment down below, you have a long to-do list to do today. So that's it from me, girls. Um, I will see you in my next video. Sending you all so much love. Stay warm and stay safe.